Okay, hello. I decided to make a quick video to show you how to remove shadows from a 3D scanned model. So I have a 3D scanned model here. It is a frog statue that I scanned using photogrammetry. Now this model has already been UV mapped as well as different subdivision levels be created for it. As you can see here subdivision 1 until 4. Right. So basically to remove shadows from a model you need a normal map. Now if you're thinking about the normal you know mind the pun normal normal map that one will not work. Here's an example of this model's normal, you know, normal, normal map. This one will not work to remove shadows from a model. To remove shadows from a model, you need to create another normal map. Now, I presume by this time you already know how to create a normal map from a model. So I will skip that part and basically go to normal map and then select adaptive because you get better quality and then the trick is to turn off tangent to create a world normal map right this will take the usual amount of time to create a normal map but as you can see the normal map is a little bit different so let us export that export okay as you can see it's much more colorful than a usual normal map okay so now that we're done with ZBrush let's switch to Photoshop okay so once we brought it into Photoshop as usual you need to flip it because you know ZBrush is trying to mess with you. Then you need to import the texture map you generated. There we go. Into the same layer. Uh, let's do that and rasterize it just for the hell of it. Move the original texture map down so that you have the new normal world normal map on top. Now to remove shadows from a 3D model as you can see there's not a, you know major harsh shadows but um, it would be nice to actually remove the shadows that are there. So first of all you switch it to overlay mode. No sorry not overlay darken multiply sorry sorry multiply yes correction multiply then all you do is you well, usually I'd like to zoom in a bit so I can actually see what's going on then you simply go adjustment black and white there we go now you'll see the image has become a little bit darker and from here on you can adjust the actual each color that re represents the angle on which the model is represented on the world normal map if that makes sense so I am not an expert at all I've only recently started to do this but I've got semi decent results with this by adjusting each color you can actually start to remove some of the shadows on the model quite efficiently now what I've learned is the trick is not to make the model brighter or darker the trick is to equalize the 
texture by simply removing the shadows using this technique. Obviously later on you can adjust the brightness if it's too dark or too light or whatever. And this is pretty much, uh, it seems like a on, on a per model basis. So you can tweak it as much as you want or how much time you have. This seems fine. So just a quick to show you, here's the after and there's the before. I think the best is here. As you can see most of the shadows is relatively gone which will leave your 3D model hopefully relatively shadow free. Thank you.